，菜菜里奥，祝福你们，今天是你们人生的大日子，祝你们以后啊，快快乐乐的在一起到永远，百年好合，然后越多越多快乐的事，快快的发生，快快的降临，再见哦。<笑>今天祝你们新婚愉快。而且以后工作呢顺利，马群龙基本上把我的话都说完了。但是就是说，李瑶以后，呃，在学习和工作上，包括，呃，能够尽快的找到滨州的工作，在这里边呃，也是祝福你们两个。啊、uh, ，That's what it's for both of you. <笑> Thank you. 嗨，刘灿，李瑶，今天是你们大喜的日子，祝你们百年好合。早点生宝宝哦，我们很期待。嗯，祝你们幸福，哥姐祝你们幸福美满，嗯，找工作顺利，嗯，快快乐乐的生活。说完了。OK OK <笑>。嗯，今天是李瑶和刘灿大喜的日子，呃，我们非常高兴，我们能在美国参加他们的婚礼，我们代表我们全家人向他们送上最真诚的祝福，呃，祝他们幸福美满，呃，早得贵子，好。今天是呃两位新人大喜的日子，呃，我作为他的姑父呢，非常高兴和。他的啊姑姑一起来到这个美丽的美国的西部的城市林肯来参加他们的这个婚礼，呃，在这里我们看到他们非常的呃呃快乐，非常的高兴，然后有很多的朋友给他们大力的支持，也获得了美国朋友的支持。我呢在这里呢也代表我们这个一家子，代表我们这个相当于中方的代表，祝他们幸福美满快乐啊，在事业上。获得更多的发呃发展，啊，创造新的辉煌，呃，祝他们呃早生贵子，谢谢。呃，灿灿、李瑶真的是特别替你们开心，呃，真的很幸运认识你们两两位，然后呃，以前我们做邻居这么长时间，然后呃，你们真的是像家人一样对我，我真的是非常的温暖。然后我就感觉阿姨真的是做了很多像我妈妈才能做的事情，然后真的挺幸运的。然后希望，真的希望你们啊、呃、这一生都非常幸福。然后，呃，我也希望你们能看见你们的宝宝。然后，呃，也希望真的能作为你们一辈子的好朋友，啊、呃，祝贺你们。呃，李奥、刘灿，恭喜你们终于修成正果了。啊，祝你们新婚快乐，早生贵子！希望你们的以后的生活都呃非常的幸福美满，啊，祝贺你们，谢谢。来看词儿。哦，今天在这里，我代表九班的同学，呃，祝李敖和刘灿新婚快乐，早生贵子，百年好合。OK。嗯，你好，几年前。啊、呃，在我研究生面试的时候，有一位大学的教授跟我问我了我一个问题，他说：“啊、呃，在之前你有没有一个很很要好的朋友？”当然了，我不知道清不太清楚他为啥这样问我。啊、呃，我回答了说 ：“Absolutely, I did。”当然有一位这样的朋友，就是在我上高中的时候，他我们住虽然不是一个班，但我们住在一起，吃在一起，他给我给了我很大的帮助，他。告诉我如何去安排一天的时间，如何去过，啊、呃，让时间变得更有效率。至今都对对我影响甚，非常的，非常的多。所以，啊、呃，今天是他大喜的日子，他的名字叫李瑶，我非常能够荣幸得到他的邀请。相信你以后也是会在日后的时日后的日子里，可以成为一个合格的丈夫，能够撑起一个呃小家来保护你的美丽的妻子。当然了，刘灿跟我我们出相识并不是很多，但我可以看出她是一个非常优秀、非常善良又非常难得的一个好姑娘。也相信日后她必然必然成为一个好的妻子。最后呢，希望你们的爱情可以比天长，比地久。谢谢。Hi guys, congratulations! We are really happy for you. Hope you will be successful for your whole life. And best wishes. Best wishes.
No advice. <laughs> okay. 嗯，感谢在林肯的日子里有你们两个陪伴，然后我们这些朋友在一块儿度过了一段非常开心的时光。今天，在我们共同的见证下，你俩走入了婚姻的殿堂。希望你们在以后的日子里和和美美，互相扶持，啊、嗯，过上王子和公主一样的生活。嗯，好，那我只能说新婚快乐了。OK， that's it。呃、uh, ， English or Chinese？ Either way。啊，李敖、刘灿，终于看到你们走到今天了啊！一路不容易，嗯、啊，呃，祝你们新婚快乐，百年好合，啊啊 ，enjoy the happiness for a lifetime。啊、uh, ，Hello， 呃，灿灿和李敖，今天你们结婚呢、啊，然后我们都感到非常的激动，然后尤其是我还要当伴娘，这是我人生第一个伴娘，就献给你了。呃，我希望你们两个能够呃，在以后的生活中互相呃体谅、互相帮助，呃，永远相亲相爱。呃，我我你们一直是我们呃是我们的好榜样了、啊，所以我希望你们一直呃保持下去，然后一直做我们的好榜样。呃、uh, ，and happy wedding. We wish you all the best. 啊，李敖还有刘灿，啊，祝你们新婚快乐。对对，然后祝李敖学业有成。对，事业有成。对，然后感谢去年一年对我的帮助，还有一些在生活上面的一些 advice 都很感谢。还有感谢李瑶，那个我刚来的那一会儿，帮我那个呃，就就是接我啊什么的。嗯，好。好，行，我们两个比较蠢，说不了太多，就这样了。<笑>好，谢谢，谢谢。OK， 李瑶、刘灿，新婚快乐！祝你们圆圆满满，白头偕老，早生贵子哦！我爸爸给你几条新婚的祝愿，祝愿你新婚幸福，白头偕老。妈咪，咋说？你就祝一些哦幸福的秘籍嘛，互相互相体谅。希望你们今后的生活更加甜蜜，呃，相互支持，相互帮助。嗯，白头偕老。Thank you。呃，刘灿、李瑶。来，刘灿、李瑶，很高兴今天你们今天是你们的大喜日子哈！我们全家呢，祝贺你们，呃，新婚快乐，呃，幸福永远，快快乐乐啊！好好经营你们的婚姻啊！祝贺你们。来，陈老师说两句吧。呃，好，刘灿，这个李瑶，我们祝贺你们啊，幸福到老。<笑> It's okay. Uh, Liao, Liu Chan, 祝你们新婚,新婚快乐。Hello, Liu Chan, Li Yao, 很高兴认识你们，也很荣幸参加你们的婚礼。所以呢，就祝你们白头到老，然后儿孙满堂。到你。嗯，刘赞李瑶，那个，啊，听到你们结婚消息，我非常高兴。然后我也很荣幸能够今天参加你们的婚礼。嗯、呃，希望你们啊、呃、互相支持，啊、呃、啊、呃、互相啊、呃、互相支持的走完啊啊、呃呃、人生，然后啊、呃。Can we do it over it again? I, yeah, I said something wrong. <笑> yeah. 嗯，哎，刘三李敖，然后呃，祝福你们啊、呃、新婚快乐，然后幸福美满啊、呃，希望你们能够呃互相帮持。然后共度啊、呃、人生，啊、呃、白头偕老。嘿，李敖、灿灿，恭喜你们今天在这个时间，然后能够一起，啊、呃，借助你们这个婚礼的一个见证，感觉非常荣幸。祝你们能够百年好合，啊、呃，然后永远幸福。也愿神永远保守你们一家人。然后 Hannah 也想跟你们说一下祝福的话语。Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to Yo and his wife. I know both of them are really good, really nice, but I know Yo more than his wife. I can say she's really lucky. <laughs> Congratulations again. Um, 我是唐振宏，唐老师，祝刘畅、李瑶你们俩新婚快乐，也特别祝愿你们以后生活美满，家庭幸福。也求神保佑你们，在以后的生活中都有主的依靠，啊、um, 
，呃，感谢你邀请我们来，全家来参加，我们很高兴啊，求神祝福你们全家，谢谢。Presbyterian Church, welcome to this service of worship. We hope that you feel at home here, that you will feel God's presence in this place at this holy, special moment today. At this point, I would like to ask you to refrain from taking pictures during this service so that we can focus our whole attention on these two here that we're here to support and on the words that are spoken and on the presence of God. Friends, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look merciful upon Yao and Zan, who have come today seeking your blessing. Let your good spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises they make this day. Amen. Amen. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is a gift from God. God created us and gave marriage so that we may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health throughout all our days. God gave us marriage for the full expression of love. God gave us marriage for the well-being of human society, for the ordering of family, and in some cases for the birth and nurturing of children. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery, in which two are joined together and become one. We rejoice that marriage is a gift given by God.
blessed by Christ and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, let marriage be held in honor by all. We turn now to the scriptures. We hear the 13th chapter from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. It's this passage that Sun and Yao selected to be read at their ceremony today. Let us listen for God's word. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly. But then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide these three, and the greatest of these is love. What a great joy to be here today with you, Yao and San, surrounded by family and friends. It is one of those beautiful privileges of my job to be part of celebrations of life like this. Thank you for letting me part, be part of your special day. I know you have been looking forward to this day. Maybe you have been the last few days a little bit stressed. After all, there are a bazillion things you try to do. There are things on your to-do list, things you need to remember. As for me today, I only had to remember one thing. This. The marriage license. Because that's what you want. That's what you need today. And in a couple of minutes, we'll have your witnesses come forward and sign it. Everyone who's married has one of these. Maybe you hang them on the wall. Maybe you put them in the safe. Maybe you try to find them every couple of years when you have to renew the green card. That's what I just had to do recently. Uh, regardless of what you do with it, I want, you let, well, want to let you in on a little secret just between the three of us. It's already a piece of paper. <laughs> uh, it's an important piece of paper. This document is a very important document, but this document is not your marriage. Like many things we do today, is not your marriage. I mean, today is a very important day. Don't get me wrong. It's a joyful day. It's, it's so wonderful to have you all here today to be in this place. That so many people are here to support you, are here with good thoughts, are here to bless you. What you're doing today, the vows that you're going to give to each other today, they are important. But there is one thing that's more important than today, and that's tomorrow, and the day after, and the week after, and the year after, and the weeks and months to come of your life together. And of course you know all this already, and yet on a day like today it's so easy to get caught up in the million other things that want to be just right for today. We want everything to be perfect. And so maybe it's good to remind ourselves of this. 
And I think that's what our text this morning tells us so well as well. It's a text many couples love to hear at their wedding. But I would like to invite you today to hear this text not just as a wedding text, but a text of marriage, a text of life. What do I mean with that? As a wedding text, Zhang will look at um, Yao and hear these words like this, Yao is patient, Yao is kind, Yao is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude, he does not insist on his ways. And Yao will think, if I had everything in the world but didn't have Zan, I would have nothing. And you look into each other with a romantic sigh. Beautiful, isn't it? And there's nothing wrong with that. And yet, love is more than a romantic moment, a romantic mood. In fact, our text does not just speak of sunny days where skies are blue. It also speaks of cold, January days in Nebraska or in the Northeast. Our text today reminds us that love is a high calling that can be a challenge that sometimes can even be overwhelming. You may better understand what I mean when you listen to these words again, but this time I invite you to each time when the text reads love, I invite you to hear your own name instead. So instead of love is patient, love is kind, I invite you to hear it as I am patient, I am kind, I am not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude, I do not insist on my way, I am not irritable or resentful, I do not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoice in the truth, I bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, I endure all things. How does that text sound like this? How easy it is, is it to say, I am patient, I am kind? Can I always say that, that I do not dishonor the other? That I am not easily angered, go ask my wife. That, that I rejoice with the truth instead of wanting to be right? At one time I had members of the congregation doing that exercise when an elder lady exclaimed, I can't say these things, I am lying. It's true that we often do not live up to this high calling of love. It's true we can be petty, envious, resentful, self-centered, passive-aggressive, ambivalent, hopeless, faithless, yes, loveless in so many ways. That's the truth. And sometimes maybe it will take just exactly that to confess this truth to admit mistakes, to say I'm sorry, to be aware I'm not perfect, nor is the other, nor do you have to. Which leads me to a third way we can read this text, we can hear this text, I think we should hear this text, if we read it not just with our names, but with the name of the only one who is perfect. I deeply believe that's when that passage gets its full meaning, when we hear it like this. God is patient and kind. God always protects and trusts and hopes and perseveres. Even when we are falling short. So this is the one thing I want you to take with you today. That you are called to love one another every day. But even more that you are always loved before anything else, despite anything, through anything, beyond anything. Because the one who created you is also the one who redeems you and is the one who will love you to the end. And because you are loved, you are invited to love to love as well in return. You're invited to make every day this decision to reflect this love. And this love can mean little things, things you already figured out by yourself, like when you, Yao, cook dinner after a long day and clean the house, or when you, Tan, take him to a baseball, a basketball game, or when you, at the end of a long, tiring day, give each other a foot massage. 
It may mean supporting each other, at times maybe even fighting for each other. To hope together when the other is without hope, to have faith when the other is without faith, to have the humility to say, I'm sorry, and the courage to start fresh. It may mean letting go of petty fights. I know you met in a debating club, but marriage is not a com competition who is the best debater. It may mean put your spouse's interests, their wants and desires and happiness ahead of your own. It means, Yao, that Zan's happiness is more important than yours. And before you smile too much, Zan, it means that Yao's happiness is more important <laughs> than yours. It must be the both of you. And it must be a decision you continue to make each day. That is marriage. That is love. The love that never fails. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to invite you to begin your adventure of your marriage by joining me up here. And by declaring your marriage vows to one another here in the presence of God and of God's people in your very own, very personal words. So beautiful, and uh, and way out of my league, you can see. Um, so not only outside but inside. Okay, um, I cannot believe how lucky I am to find you, and you make me happier than I never thought I could be. So I can't wait to spend the rest of my life to make you feel the same way. Love you forever. I uh, started to follow my dream because of you. I never thought I could be so strong if, it were, if you were not there. It's lucky to have someone who is always, always on my side. Thanks for all the changes you have done for me. I know it's never easy. So from now on, you are my family and I can't wait to start a journey with you. And so Yao and San, I'm gonna ask you, understanding that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant? If so, say, I do. I do. I do. Will you have each other as husband and wife to live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love and to serve according to the will of God? If so, say, I do. I do. I do. Yao and San, will you listen to each other's inmost thoughts? Be considerate and tender in your care of the other and stand by another faithfully in sickness and in health, and preferring each other above, above all others, accepting full responsibility for each other as long as you both shall live. If so, say, I will. I will. I will. Okay, we have the rings. By your blessing, O oh God, may these rings be to Yao and Zan symbols of an unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of the covenant they have made this day. Amen. Yao, yeah, repeat after me. Zan, I give you this ring as a sign of my promise. Zan, I give you this ring as a sign of promise.
Yao, I give you this ring as a sign of my promise. Yao, I give you this ring as a sign of my promise. Before God and in the presence of this congregation, Yao and Zan have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and the receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that Yao and Zan are now husband and wife. Please hold your hands. Blessed be God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sustainer, now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. 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 and Yao. We pray that you continue to walk with them on their path together and give them will and strength to honor their promises. Sustain their love with your love, their strength with your strength, their faithfulness with your faithfulness, and grant success to their marriage that even in many years they may look at each other with eyes that shine of love. You are the source and preserver of love. And so we pray for all our relationships. We pray for those among us whose love stayed alive over many years, and we give you thanks. We pray for those that are in crisis and ask for your help. We pray for those that have shipwrecked, and we ask for your healing. We pray for those that have been separated by death and ask for your comfort. We pray for those who are not currently in a relationship and we ask that you pray, bless their friendships. You are the source. You are the preserver of love. And you declared your love to all your children regardless of their marital status. So we pray. Take us in into the shining of your love, so we may rejoice today with our whole hearts with the newlywed, this day and in the times to come. Amen. Amen. Zhang and Yao, and so I charge you today, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of God giving thanks through him. 
and God go before you to guide you. God go behind you to protect you. God go beneath you to support you. God go beside you to befriend you. Be not afraid. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer, descend upon you, settle in around you, and make its home in you. Be not afraid. Go in peace. And God bless you and keep you. God be kind and gracious to you. God look upon you in favor, and grant you peace. Amen. You may now seal your covenant with a kiss.
shooting some video now. <coughs> nice and close. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was that was painless. Yeah. That was painless. <laughs> so. um, let's go take a picture. Yeah.
welcome our newly wed bride and groom. And heal my heart Oh, what a love To cast away the pain Oh, what a love That'll bear for me The cost of a brand new start Oh, what a love To let me begin again Oh, what a light That'll brighten up The corners of a lonely life Oh, what a light To cast away the rain I've been looking 
promises are keeping up I've been looking for a love Someone to hold as I lay sleeping I'm not talking about someone Who's scared of promises are keeping up 